Hi, we're the owners of Gold Coast Doulas and we just wanted to give everyone a COVID update um, so you understand what we're doing as an agency and for our team to keep all of our doulas safe and the families that we work with safe. Um, first and foremost, we have created a COVID-19 form that not only do our doulas fill out, uh, but every family that we work with has to fill that out. That way the doula and the family are both comfortable with the level of risk that each other has. Um, Kristen can tell you what our birth doulas are doing. So our birth doula team has been working during COVID depending on the hospital policies. And our doulas, because we have a large team, we are assessing symptoms. Many of us are using COVID symptom trackers and we're sending in healthy doulas. All of our client consultations during the entire length of COVID have been virtual. We are doing virtual prenatals and virtual postpartum visits. So our support is our clients have options of virtual support or in person, depending on the hospital policy. And our doulas are screened at the hospitals we work in um, and also given hospital masks and we're wearing gloves and following all of the protocols as far as sanitation and health. And so it has been a pretty seamless process and we are accepting new clients. So our team is happy to help in any way. And for postpartum support, we've changed a little bit having only one postpartum doula working with one family at a time. And depending on the level of um, care that the postpartum family wants, um, our doulas can wear gloves, they can wear masks in the home. We have a digital forehead thermometer, um, so they're willing to do whatever the family needs um, based on their level of risk. Yeah, and they're even taking off shoes when they arrive, changing clothes if that's something the client wants. So we're, def we're following um, the client's lead on what is safe for them in their home. And things have opened up for postpartum support. Um, in the early stage of COVID, we were only offering essential postpartum care. So that would be healing after a birth, um, anyone struggling with mood disorders, postpartum depression, or um, multiples. And now we were able to work with you know, the older babies. So we work with families through the first year and offer all types of support. But as Alyssa mentioned, we are limiting our number of doulas in a family, only bringing in healthy doulas, and you know, listening to what the client's needs and comfort level is during this time. And of course, just like with birth, we do offer virtual postpartum support if a client isn't comfortable with someone in their home. Mm -hmm. And all of our classes have been virtual and starting uh, soon we will be offering hypnobirthing in the classroom space for as long as it's possible. And again, we have all of these um, supplies available, hand sanitizer, um, everyone will have to have a forehead thermometer check when they come in, everyone will have to wear a mask, and we will be sanitizing the office before and after. Yes, and so as Alyssa said, um, we're hoping that our late summer um, hip number thing, so that would be late August, and some of our other Saturday series of classes would be in person, but we are monitoring COVID, and if we feel like we need to turn those into virtual, as we had been doing during COVID, we will do so. And our lactation visits have been um, virtual for the most part, and now they're opening up to in person as well in clients' homes. And my sleep consultations, I still am not doing in-person visits, but we can do that virtually, which is the majority of my consults anyway before COVID. So if you have any questions about what Gold Coast Doulas is doing during this um, COVID pandemic, please reach out. We would love to talk to you, um, but we hope this gives you a good idea of how we are protecting our doulas and our families. Thanks. Thanks.